What's up guys, I'm Gabe from Studio CNG and we are back, back from our adventures, back from a tremendous trip, bucket list trip for myself. We were in Tokyo for 14 whole days. It was a ton of fun, ate a ton, walked even more. Then we flew back to Calgary for two days, didn't even unpack, straight to Toronto where one of my closest friends got wedded. It was super amazing, really beautiful. Good to see everybody out there. Lots of feels, had a ton of fun. Then came back to Calgary where inevitably I got sick, which put a bit of a damper on everything. It's like time stood still, but only for me. So a few weeks went by while I was sick, but we're back on track, still sifting through the mountains of videos that we took while in Japan. So the edit's coming. It's coming soon, I promise. I want to share this with everyone, all the fun and amazing things we did while we are out there. Highlights of the trip. I was personally culture shocked. I initially thought Tokyo was just going to be another big city filled with 14 million people, hustle, bustle, noises, all that, but I was wrong. It's, it's none of that. People were super polite, people don't walk and eat, you always were on the left side of the streets. Things were orderly. Everything was just super clean. Just not what I expected of a big bustling city. Somehow 14 million people, they made it work. And I was shocked. I actually felt super displaced. I was like, oh my God, this massive North American. I'm always in the way. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely a shock for me. Food. Food was super exciting. Being that this was a massive eating trip, food was definitely one of the highlights for me. We didn't eat too many weird things. I mean, we had sushi, we had ramen, all the typical things that you would have or try while you're in Japan. But what really stood out for me was actually the convenience shop food. Convenience shops sold everything from full cooked meals to onigiri rice balls to snacks, chips, all the instant ramen you could eat, it was actually really good. They definitely put convenience in the convenience shops. Lastly, everything you see in Japan was steeped in history and culture. And no, I'm not talking about cultures and all the Pokemon and all the castles and all the shrines. They were there, they're present, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's in how people carried themselves. It's in the manners of always saying thank you, welcoming people through the door, always being polite, allowing people to walk through first before themselves, not being in the way. Those are all part of Japanese culture and, and I think there's a lot of tradition in that. It was also evident in how they ran businesses or how they treated things. They take the time to perfect and master basic things, really simple things and do them really well. Just like in artesian times, you take the one thing that you do really well and you'd master it. That was what I saw. There was a ton of that still in Tokyo. You think in like a busy city you wouldn't find that, but a lot of the small shops privately owned were just like that. You'd go to the chicken ramen shop just to have chicken ramen. If you wanted pork ramen or if you wanted dumplings, you'd go to the next shop. I think taking the time to respect and master your craft is so important. In, in such a modern day, where we're always rushing about hurriedly doing this or like quickly do that, like juggling deadlines. I think it's really important. Take that time, scale back, sit down, master, and take the time to do what you want to do really really well. I think that was an amazing takeaway for myself and that was probably one of the biggest highlights. And with that we're gonna change our posting schedule to every other Wednesday hopefully taking a little bit more time on the videos, planning out the content so we can continue to make fun and amazing things to share with everyone. And that's it! What are some things that you guys would have been curious to see in Japan? Let me know in the comments section below. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys next time!